It's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to my full-length review of the Ultimac AKM Optics Mount. This mount is going to replace your standard gas tube and is going to allow you to affix red dots and flashlights and other add-ons onto the front of your AK-style rifle. I found it extremely useful and in no way has it affected the reliability of my Arsenal AK-74. I've had this mount on my gun for over a year and a half and I have fired thousands and thousands of rounds over that period of time. One of the things that I really like about the Ultimac AKM optic mount is the fact that it is manufactured in the United States. It's a really great add-on to your firearm. You know, the AK family of rifles has had a hard time, in my view, of entering the 21st century because it's been difficult to affix optics and other add-ons onto them. The Ultimac AK optic mount helps to fix that problem, helps to render an AK more useful and more adaptive to modern fighting techniques and to modern equipment and optics. My goal is to give you all the information I have accumulated about the Ultimac AK-47 and 74 rail uh, in the last year and a half uh, that I've been using it. And I have shot thousands of rounds through this Arsenal AK-74 with the Ultimac AK rail on it. Okay, And the rail has maintained... Uh, the tightness, uh, I did not, I specifically did not originally lock tight this thing on because I wanted to see if it would loosen up. But I tightened it down and I have never had to deal with it again. Okay, I haven't gone back. It is, it is rock solid. It has not moved. For much of the time uh, that I was shooting my AK-74, I had my Aimpoint Comp M4S on my AK mounted on the Ultimac AK uh, rail. I don't imagine most people will run a heavier optic that far out on an AK. Okay, the Aimpoint Comp M4S uh, weighs around 12, 13 ounces with the mount I have on it. And I ran it all the way out here um, forward on the Ultimac AK rail. Because that's really the only option that you have if you want to be able to use the folding stock okay, that comes on, on these Arsenal rifles. I have since taken the Aimpoint off, of course, and mounted it here on my AR. And I think it's found a permanent home on, on this rifle. It just works better. And we'll talk about some of the reasons for that later. But if you're going to mount an optic on your AK, the Ultimac is one of the better options that I have experience with. Uh, there are new products coming to market, but this Ultimac AK rail is the one I have the most experience with. So you're able to mount optics on it. You're also able to mount lights on it, as you see I've done here. And really, a, a good home defense rifle, a good fighting rifle needs uh, two or three things. It needs to be reliable, which the Arsenal AK-74 is. It needs good iron sights. It needs a good white light for most applications. And then probably you want to invest in a rifle sling of some kind. And uh, the Ultimac AK rail gives you the option of mounting lights and mounting optics onto this gun. Again, it's been bomb proof. This happens to be the m one B version, okay, but there are many different versions of the Ultimac AK rail depending on your specific AK, and that's going to be up to you to make the right selection, to do a little homework and pick the right one. Uh, you know, the AK and the AR-15 are great rifles. The AK's Achilles heel is that it is having a hard time because of the overall design with this top cover that's not uh, permanently mounted to the gun, it's having a hard time coming in the 21st century in terms of optics. And the Ultimac AK rail helps to bridge that gap or to solve that problem. Let me show you some of the stuff you'll get uh, when you purchase the Ultimac AK rail. You're going to get this packaging and the AK Ultimac rail will be in the packaging. Flip it open and uh, it comes with uh, the little hex wrench that you need to install it and it comes with an additional uh, uh, installation screw which is really nice because they know uh, they're human beings and they know what it's like to lose stuff. So you got an extra one. Again, I've tightened this thing up and I've not had to mess with it since I put it on. That's been over a year and a half ago. You're going to get some paperwork here. You're going to get a great little step-by-step -step process of how to install the rail. 
Okay? Very easy to follow and understand. I did have to do a little bit of work on my Ultimac here on one of the corners that you can't see because it's underneath the handguard. And that took me about 30 seconds with a Leatherman uh, file to adjust that to just get it to fit the mine. That's going to be the case with most AKs. Then you have a further description of things that are going on here. Um, how to get it on, how to fit it, uh, a, a longer description. And then you'll just note this, uh, that the Ultimac mount is slightly shorter than the original gas tube. Okay, I'm trying to read that upside down. But the reality is it is shorter, uh, a little bit shorter in many cases than your original gas tube. And that's because they're allowing it to fit any number of AKs. And there can be a gap there. And if you get on Ultimac's website, they've even got footage of a huge gap. Like I think a half inch gap and the gun is still cycling just fine. But some people are going to freak out because it's not, not perfect. Okay. So the reality is, is the Ultimac does replace your standard gas tube. And I do think that you need to, to understand uh, that you're probably taking at least on paper a reliability loss. You're probably losing some reliability. I didn't encounter any problems. My gun, this gun is, I'd say 99.9% .9 reliable. And the couple times I've had problems with it, I think it's been the ammunition or a magazine not getting seated in. But I've had no reliability issues with this gun. It has just cycled like a, just cycled like a champ, okay? Um, but the reason I'm saying you're taking a loss is if you look here, see if I can get this lined up perfectly. Throw a white piece of paper here. Do you see that this is a, there's a star pattern, okay? It's not just a perfect tube. It actually allows debris and gas and crud to fall through and it doesn't have a perfectly tight seal. The Ultimac is a perfect tube. It does not have that star uh, center uh, profile, and which means that you are probably at least on paper, okay, when you pencil it out, you're probably taking some level of reliability hit. Again, I did not experience that in any way, shape, or form. It does make the AK a little bit harder to clean uh, because in most cases with a standard AK, you just pop this lever, okay, and then you'd pop your gas tube out and you'd be able to take it off and clean it. Uh, this mounts with brackets here. All right, and uh, they have a picture. Let's see if I can show you that picture here. You can see it mounts with some brackets right there that attach and clamp to the barrel here and here. Okay, so here and here, there is a bracket that goes around the barrel and tensions this down. And so you need to be aware of that reality. So you're not going to be able to pop it off. It doesn't come on and off. It, it stays permanently there. What I do is I just do my standard field strip in order to clean this rifle with the Ultimac AK rail on. Okay, I just take it out just like so. Okay, and I just go to work on it. I just pour water down here. I pour water in the barrel and I give it a few seconds, some warm water, two or three cups of warm water, maybe a little bit more than that. And then I give it a second, shake it off, and then I just pour WD-40 or a CLP down it and clean it all out. And you could of course take something like a shotgun um, brush and get it down there and really clean it out. But I, again, I haven't had any problem. You don't have to worry about it rusting, okay, because it's aluminum. So that's not a problem. If there is one drawback which comes with the Ultimac AK mount, it is the additional heat which you may experience because the entire uh, rail is made of aluminum and does not have any guard as the standard gas tube does. One of the things I'm noticing right away today shooting this gun is I've done quite a bit of shooting during the winter and when it's been relatively cold but I've not done that much shooting in warmer conditions and I'm not running the Aimpoint Comp M4S here on it today which is where I normally have had my thumb up there on it. So I am noticing instantaneously that this Ultimac AK rail, I'm not even two full mags, so not even 60 rounds through, and it is unpleasant to touch. Now, I'm still able to escape away to the standard grip here, uh, but just something to consider. There's a reason why a lot of individuals who run AKs run a glove on their left hand or their off hand because it, it gets very hot. As I conclude this review on the Ultimac AK optic mount, 
and gas tube system, I want to give you some words of warning, some problems that I have encountered, not with the actual product, but as I've tried to interface different items with the product, some of the things I've run into. And that is simply this, you need to make sure that whatever you're adding onto this rail, if you're planning to actually use your iron sights, do not preclude your iron sights, do not get in the way of them. So you can see here I'm using this uh, Haley Strategic Thorntail SBR mount to mount my uh, Surefire Micro or Surefire Mini light on, on the rail system. And the reason I'm using that particular mount is I tried to use this Viking Tactics polymer mount. And in fact, I did a torture test of this mount, okay, on the AK. I fired like 150 rounds. Or uh, The problem was is we couldn't use the iron sights. When you mount this system here, it's high enough, okay, that it actually precludes the sights. And that's a problem. So you need to select uh, your uh, add-ons carefully to minimize the amount of height, okay. When it, when it comes to an optic that you can pop on and off, that's not such a problem because you can just pop the mount off. Okay, and then you can go right to your iron sights, but you need to be aware of that reality. In addition to that, I would encourage you to be very judicious, very careful, as you think about the weight that you're going to put this far out on the gun, because it's a lot of weight. And mounting this aim point out there um, created some problems for me personally, because I found that it was just really, really heavy. If I was going to keep the rifle up okay, and shoot it, for an extended period of time, I found that I always was dropping the rifle down uh, as, as quick as possible because it's just a lot of weight to have all the way out here supported by your one hand. If you have an optics mount back here, then your primary hand has the pistol grip and then it's easier to kind of control that weight. You don't have so much weight so far out on the gun. So be careful. I would encourage you, don't buy the Aimpoint Comp M4S or one of the bigger aim points for your AK if you're gonna mount it out on the Ultimac rail. Spend a little more money uh, in some cases, basically the same price as the Aimpoint Comp M4S and get one of the Aimpoint Micros, either the T1 or the T2. That would be a way better option because that's three or four ounces instead of 14 or 15 ounces. And that's a big, big difference there. And uh, to give you an example of some of the realities of, of weight, okay, uh, this is a 2014 buyer's guide uh, from AK-47 Magazine right talking about uh, Soviet weapons and some things here and they talk about interestingly enough uh, they talk about some uh, Estonians I believe we'll find that article right here okay so they're talking about Estonian Galails which are in essence AKs chambered in 5.56 okay the NATO cartridge and you can see here they're running the Aimpoint Comp M4S on this one rifle there you can also see that they're running uh, EOTEX and aim points farther out on the gun, like we're talking about here, like running them out here on the Ultimac AK rail. You can see this guy here has got his AK, and you can see he is holding it with that pistol grip. He's adding additional support because it's heavy out in the front, and the Galeo is not a lightweight rifle to begin with. I thought another picture that was telling of these Estonian troops with their galails, as you can see right here. I thought this was an interesting picture. You can see he is resting his rifle, okay, on the dirt right there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's got a grenade launcher. He's got all kinds of additional things going on. But that's a perfect example of mounting too much stuff too far out on an AK-style rifle. And the galail is an AK-style rifle. Okay. Personally, I found that that is just too much weight out on the gun. So please be intentional, be selective with the amount of weight that you run on the forward portion of the rifle. Because it's so far out in the AK, it's not like an AR-15 where stuff mount runs closer to the, to the rifle, pull closer to the axis or center of the rifle. You get a lot of weight out there and you're not going to enjoy the Ultimac AK rail. So my recipe, if I had the ultimate recipe, and again I don't have an Aimpoint Micro, it would be this gun, exactly how I have it set up, if I was going to run an AK, either AK-74 like this one or an AK-47, and I would drop an um, Aimpoint Micro on this thing, and that would be the bomb. It would just be perfect. But even if you're just getting the Ultimac AK rail as an option for just mounting a light or something on it, I would highly recommend it to you. It, is a, it has not in any way hampered the reliability of my weapon, and it has allowed for a great mounting, a great sturdy mounting platform 
for my uh, optics and for my lights. I really like the Ultimac AKM optic mount. It comes highly recommended from me, the gear tester. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Also, go over to my playlist page and you will find a series of videos, a playlist entitled Arsenal AK-74. In that playlist, I detail a number of things which I have done to my Arsenal AK-74 rifle, as well as range reports and shooting reviews. This is the Gear Tester signing off.